Israel Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Badash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to you, Akim, that go out throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity. Shalom, my blessings to you. That's the brother Sawabash from Great Millstone Northwest, coming back at it again with another lesson. Uh, this isn't no super deep, <coughs> intense lesson, man. I was just going over scriptures on Yahweh Shai. And uh, you start looking up precepts, and it brings you to the Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? In the Old Testament, um, speaks about Yahweh Shai as well. It speaks about his coming, and it speaks about uh, his purpose, um, and, and so forth. So I want to grab these scriptures first. This is Luke. Starting at 25. This is Luke 24 <clears throat> and 25. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Right? So you you don't <laughs> you understand the, the law that the prophets spoke about, but you don't also believe they spoke about Yahweh Shai? Ought not Yahweh Shai? Uh, to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory Right, so shouldn't he have to go through this these things and suffer these things to, to enter his glory and being uh, Excuse me and beginning at Moses and all the prophets He expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself Because he's the word so why wouldn't he prep? Uh, for himself to come why wouldn't he, if he told us of all these other things to come, why wouldn't he tell us of his coming? Why wouldn't he have the prophets out there prophesying of his, his, his coming and his glory? Verse 28. And they drew nigh unto the village, whither they went, and he made as though he would uh, have gone further. Oh no, verse 27 was it. <clears throat> Salakia. So, uh, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't he uh, have prepared the, his own way? He prepared our way. He prepared the way of the Gentiles. He prepared the way of the Israelite foreigners. He prepared the way of those that were of the cloth. Why wouldn't he prepare the way for himself? Meaning, why wouldn't he tell about it and prophesy, have the uh, prophets prophesying of it? Right? And we're going to get into some of those prophets, prophecies, excuse me. We'll jump down to verse 44 in Luke 24. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Boom, right? So let's go here for you uh, Old Testament, New Testament only motherfucking weirdos. We're gonna get the truth here. You only believe in one or the other. You don't believe in the whole thing. So we're gonna prove to you that you're supposed to understand what's in the Old Testament will help you understand what's in the New Testament. Psalms 40 and 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. <clears> the <throat> whole purpose of this book is the, the story of Jacob and Esau and the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai to deliver us from our enemy Esau. You know, that's, the, that's the, the, the basis of the book. And really it's the basis of most movies. Because ain't, Esau ain't original. He gets all his uh, information from the Bible. Because he knows that it's the only truth. And you got to know the truth before you can tell a lie. Alright, so Yahweh Shai has been prophesied um, since the beginning. You know, he was, um, he was um, there with Yahweh Shai. Or with Yahweh. 